Today I am going to show you what examination material is required for an inspector post examination, what is the syllabus, what are the study materials that you should go through, what is the IPO exam syllabus for 2021 that is new syllabus, what is the eligibility for appearing in IPO examination, what is the pattern of that examination, what is the preparation strategy and how to prepare for IPO examination and what are the various inferences from the previous examination of IPO 2019 question paper. We will see all these aspects and lots more to cover. Stay tuned till the end to know more about the topic. First, let us see the posts of the inspector posts are filled up. There are two modes through which these posts are filled up. One is the DR, direct recruitment through SSC staff selection commission and CGL examination one third of the post that is 33.33 percent of post will be filled through direct recruitment uh, go for this by appearing the CGL examination and uh, two third of the post will be filled through DP that is direct promotion from the PA, SA, LHG to IPO examination that is two third is 66.66 percentage this is through an examination conducted departmentally that is LDCE limited departmental competitive examination that is conducted for for the cadres postal assistant sorting assistant and LSG cadre. Now let us see what are the eligibility conditions for appearing an inspector post examination that means who are all eligible for appearing the inspector post examination. First criteria is the maximum age up to which you can apply for the this examination it should be not exceeding 45 years of age as on crucial date of eligibility to which the vacancies pertain to. For example, if the vacancies are for the year 2019, then your eligibility will be 45 years as on that crucial eligibility date. So, 1-1-2019 naturally. Then, what is the minimum service condition for appearing an inspector post examination? The minimum service for PA is not less than 8 years of continuous service as of the date of eligibility notified and LHGPA also can appear this IPO examination. And the next question is that can we write the examination in Hindi? Sure, you can write the examination in Hindi and you may then immediate question will be what will be the source for us to appear for this examination? India Post website is there. We all know that indiapost.gov.in. You can access that site and there is a Hindi version also for all the important postal manuals are available in both Hindi and in English. Major contents and volumes are available in Hindi also. So, you can definitely write the examination in Hindi also. The next question is whether there is a negative marking or not. Here, fortunately, there is no negative marking as such and next immediate question will be whether it is with aid of books or without aid of books. It is without aid of books. There will be four papers and all the papers will be without aid of books. There won't be any paper that is with aid of books. The, all these four papers are without aid of books. So, these are the eligibility conditions. Age should be less than 45. Service should be not less than 8 years in PA or SA and you can write the examination in Hindi and resources are available in India Post website. There is no negative marking and four papers are without aid of books. Now, let us see what is the pattern or eligibility conditions uh, extended for an inspector post examination in 2021. As we have seen that there are four papers, paper 1, paper 2, paper 3 and paper 4 and all these papers uh, they will be conducted for a duration of three hours each. So, it is in the form of MCQs mostly. For example, the paper 1 will be conducted for a period of 3 hours and 150 MCQs will be given for each MCQ will be carrying 2 marks. So, total marks is 300 and it will be conducted on the, there will be 2 days of examination and in these 2 days, day 1 you will have 2 exams, paper 1 and paper 2 in the morning 10 am to 1 pm that is without aid of books. On the day 1 itself from 2 5 also there will be a second exam, paper 2 that is also 3 hours and 150 MCQs will be given for you to answer and the 300 marks for these 150 questions that is 2 marks each. And in the day 2 there will be paper 3 
for 3 hours 150 mcqs will be asked and 300 marks that will be again from 10 to 1 pm and it will be without aid of books there will be ipo examination 2021 with the paper of 4 for 3 hours and it will be conducted on day 2 2 to 5 pm without aid of books it is also for 300 marks only difference is that here 125 mcqs will be there but remaining 25 into 2 is 250 marks will be in the form of mcqs remaining 50 marks will be divided into two parts one is 25 into 1 that is drafting for drafting 25 marks will be given one question will be given on drafting that will carry 25 marks another question will be given in notings regarding notings you have to write a question one question will be given and you have to answer regarding noting that will be of 25 marks that means drafting 25 noting 25 put together it is 50 and 125 questions into 2 marks each mcqs it will be 250 put together the paper 4 will be 300 marks so basically this examination is all about mcqs except for the noting and drafting which are 25 marks each that is put together drafting and noting constitute 50 marks so you will be answering the total examination in 12 hours for two days and uh, 577 question in all and 1200 marks will be the total marks so here you can write it in english or hindi both the question paper will be printed in both hindi and english left side it will be hindi right side it will be english like that they will give and you can answer in any of the language you, you wish to and the other point is that qualifying marks will be there in each paper that is 40 percent subject to overall average of 45 percent for general category that means each paper is having a qualifying mark of 40 percent but overall average should be 45 percent for oc or general category and 33 marks in each paper subject to overall average of 38 percent for sast this is the qualifying marks condition and if you don't qualify in any one of the paper you will not be considered for the total merit so you should ensure that you are qualified in each and every paper and uh, regarding this uh, pattern one more point is that in all cases uh, circulars uh, orders and guidelines issued up to 31st december of the year preceding the year of examination will be the part of the syllabus so in the syllabus what will be given all the circulars and orders and guidelines even though it is not specifically mentioned in the syllabus this will be covered this up to december 31st of the year of examinations this year of examination if the examination is conducted in 2021 then up to december 31st of the previous year that is december 2020 will be covered and uh, except for the annual report and book of information for which the latest report information available or published on the dop website department of post website will be taken only the condition is that say suppose the examination is conducted in the year 2021 the annual report and book of information if it is readily available for 2021 then you should go through the annual report of 2021 also and this condition of uh, circulars orders and guidelines uh, issued up to 31st december of the preceding year will not apply here that means this is an exception annual report you should be going through the latest one that is already available in the net that is published in the dop site so this is the overall pattern basically this is about mcqs multiple choice questions four multiple choice questions will be given and you have to choose the most correct one to get the correct answer now let us see what are the inspector post exam study materials and books and resources that you have to go through for getting selected in the inspector post examination the first resource will be india post website wherein you can find the postal manuals that is available in the link given here and i will place these links in the description you can find it there this is indiapost.gov.in vas pages rti rti manual 5 aspa here in the department site you have to go to the indiapost.gov.in you have to go to any browser like google and you have to type in there the indiapost.gov.in and you have to go to the right to information act wherein you will find the right to information act click that you will be routed to the one url and you will find there some 16 to 17 links there in that the fifth one will be the manuals 
that means if you click that manuals you will go to rules and regulations and manuals will be there and you will find all the manuals in the pdf form in english and you can also get the manuals in hindi also there is an option called hindi in the website on the top right corner if you click there hindi you will get these manuals in hindi also the next good resource is swami publishers we all know that swami publishers they will publish many books useful for the inspector post or ps group b examination or they will publish the even the volumes and other uh, guides and all the reference books also that i will tell you in detail later and the other good resource is the ministry of personal and public grievances and pensions website that is prsmin.nic.in and this website is useful for manual of office procedure service rules like frsr leave rules pf rules ltc rules pension rules conduct rules ccs cca rules gfr that is general finance rules and notes of office procedure rules of conduct for business for all these uh, important uh, topics you can go through this website of uh, personal public grievances and pensions and you will find many links uh, for each of these topics which are latest also either you can purchase the books from the swami publishers or if you don't want to purchase you can go through this website and have the latest material also available in this website for various topics and if you want to have some mcqs or or notes with the latest information there is one website called ramkrishnavai.website you can go through it also and if you say that i am quite beginner and i want to appear for ipo examination what are the immediate materials or books that i want to purchase something and start reading right now i don't recommend purchasing but if you want to purchase you can have these books which are a good point to start by purchasing these books that is your wish as i have said earlier there these are all freely available on the internet also but if you are a book lover you can have these books in your hand the first one that i recommend is the swami handbook you all know for the central government staff 2021 is released and uh, the rates are given here it may change in future if you buy the latest one that will be helpful or you may have to see the website as i have mentioned earlier for the latest one swami handbook it will not be available in the website anyhow if you purchase this it will cover many topics and mostly some 30 to 40 questions you will come across in this book and this will provide you the basic information that is required for a central government employee it covers many aspects basic aspects and many questions general questions will be given from this uh, book also you will find general questions from this book also the next one is ta rules made easy anyone who is appearing for accountant examination also they need this book you will have a fair idea why i am uh, recommending this uh, made easy is that you will be able to know the calculation part that will enable you to help in future also while you are verifying any document regarding the ta subject as an inspector or an, as an sp then you have to go through these rules and verify them accordingly then the next one is pension rules made easy then the leave rules made easy then pay rules made easy this made easy uh, there are uh, four made easy that will help you to surf through the important rules regarding this leave ta pension and pay and uh, there will be solved problems also you can very well understand what is the calculation part also the next one is a guide to pnt fhb volume these are all swami publishers books only this uh, fhb volume guide will also help you to understand better about the financial handbook then the master guide to frsr next one is precise and draft made easy and the next one is ccs cca rules 2021 ccs cca rules actually and ccs conduct rules ccs cca rules have been framed in the year 19 65 and ccs conduct rules in the 1964 so these are the basic 10 books i recommend you to get it from swami publishers uh, if you are a beginner and even if you are not a beginner or if you are thoroughly going through the subject also these books will become handy for you these are the preliminary books you have to go through now let us see what is the structure for paper 4 syllabus first then we will go one by one paper three paper two and paper one also separately if we look into the paper four 
of an IPO examination. First, uh, 25 questions will be given on English language. That is, each question carries two marks. So, the total marks will be 50. Questions are 25 and marks are 50. English language, there will be synonyms, antonyms. These year, recent years, they were mainly concentrating on the synonyms, antonyms, these articles, propositions and this grammar part. Uh, you should be, what you have to do, I will show you in this video. What are the books for this paper 4? The next one is 50 questions on current affairs. That is 50 into 2, 100 marks. And these questions uh, will be minimum 10 questions each from the field of Indian economy. 20 marks, 10 questions into 2, polity, sports, culture and science. So, 20 marks each in 5, five of these topics. That is 50 questions and uh, into 2 that is 50 marks. So, 10 questions in these 5 topics each that will constitute to 100 marks. Then comes the reasoning. 50 questions are there on reasoning, interpersonal skills, mental aptitude, intelligence, ethics. So, in each of these topics, uh, 2 marks questions are given. That is MCQs, multiple choice questions only. All these are multiple choice questions basically. 50 into 2, that is 100. So, total questions are 50 and marks are 100. And then comes the... Uh, another part that is noting approximately you may have to write 200 words in noting one question will be given the, probably there will be some choice also in this or choice that means one this one or that one and 25 marks will be given for this one question and there will be a question on drafting and they will give an example and you have to draft a letter or a memorandum or whatever uh, devo letter or whatever it is asked for and one question will be given and it will be having 25 marks. So, two questions, uh, one on noting and one on drafting into 2 into 25 that is 50 marks. So, 50, 100, 150 total, 300 marks will be given in the paper 4 and the total questions are 127. Noting and drafting only one question each. So, this is basically a, a general aspect in the IPO examination. This paper 4 will be having a general uh, awareness type of questions here. What are the books and websites for paper 4? Now let us see what are the books and websites that you may have to refer for paper 4. I am just giving a general idea. You may go for other websites or other books also as per your need. These are the books and websites I am quoting in general to start with. The first book I recommend is Word Power Made Easy by Norman Lewis. This will enhance your vocabulary and he will take you through the root word model. That means, uh, based on the root words, your vocabulary will be built. Normally, it will take some 2 to 3 months uh, if you go for 1 hour a day to complete this book. You need to spend some good half an hour, start the day. So, this will take some 2 months to 3 months to complete the vocabulary session. But it is a good start. It will definitely improve your vocabulary within a short span of 2 to 3 months. Half an hour daily is the recommended dose. Then the next one is English for general competitions from Neetu Singh grammar. Regarding grammar, you can also take any other grammar book which suits you well. But generally it is for the grammar. And uh, for uh, synonyms and antonyms, you may refer the indiabix.com's website. For that matter, on any other website you wish to. And uh, we have seen that some general English competitive examinations is also available from the byjuice.com. So, I have given the link. I will put all these links in the description box for your easy access. This English is for 50 marks. These four uh, resources are good and you may add any other resource if you have ample time. The next one is current affairs. It is for 100 marks. Here also, you will find the indiabix.com. There is quantity of uh, current affairs available in this uh, website. You may also prefer to have gktoday.in or Jargran Josh for that matter. Any of these current affairs websites, uh, they are good. And uh, in the recent 2019 question paper of uh, Inspector Post, they are asking for static GK also. So, you should not forget to read the static GK as well. For static GK, I have given a resource from byjuice.com. They have given some static GK. Apart from this also, you may find many other websites or resources or books that you may go for if you have time. 
the next one is reasoning mental aptitude etc you have seen in the earlier slide it for, it is for 100 marks you have seen this reasoning mental personal skills mental aptitude intelligence ethics for 100 marks for this this injabix website is good enough and you can have the other uh, for interpersonal skills uh, you can access this quiz.com there are few questions that may be out of interest for you these are few websites i am quoting this is not exhaustive you, you may find very good other websites also that may interest you and you can go through them also for paper 4 because it is a general thing you will find a, a, a number of websites uh, or even youtube channels also that will give you good inputs for this paper 4 and the last one is noting and drafting uh, this for 50 marks i will drop a link where you can find good good amount of uh, information on noting and drafting i will share a link however i will try to bring a video on this noting and drafting also for your ease in future and regarding the inspector post exam syllabus 2021 new there is a recent directorate letter number 7 oblique 14 12 2011 2011 spn 2 dated 64 2021 for inspector post examination and in the website i will share you a link for the ipo exam syllabus this is the link and i will describe you separately after a while how to go through it but you don't forget to see the latest syllabus that is available here and here there are different links are also provided for each topic and you will be moving to the relevant resource directly on clicking the links on the syllabus each topic will be covered in this site i will go in detail after a while now let us see what is the criteria for selection and where we are going wrong and how to correct ourselves here the main point is reading reading versus revision which is important here whenever you are told that you have to go through the volumes you will be thinking that reading the volume once twice and thrice is enough or what we have to do how to go through it because these volumes they are voluminous actually and how to deal with this reading of topics in the syllabus and reading the volumes once along with the notes preparation will help you and that will be constituting 20% of your preparation yes i am telling it is true when you go through the volume and prepare notes it is only 20% of your total preparation that contributes uh, retention of mind will be will be just 20% only when you will reinforce that reading through revision that is 80% of your preparation should include revision then only it will stay forever and it will be helpful for your examination how to revise you have to deal with the topic prepare your own notes and uh, i will tell you how to prepare notes also in a while here the revision of the topics in the syllabus you have to read today revise on the next second day immediately and on the seventh day and on the 15th day and once in every month till the examination is over this should be your strategy on revision if this is not done there is every possibility that you will not remember till the examination because after all we are humans we need to revise the topics very well 1 2 and 3 and 4 so at least four times you may have to revise the topics that you have written in the notes so that you will be getting selected and how will you revise first one is you have to prepare the notes then you have to go through the mcqs then you have to attend the mock tests or quizzes this is how you will revise revision through notes revision through mcqs and mock tests you will read the volume once or twice as per the your uh, space or time available but once you prepare the notes on your own definitely notes preparation on your own is still very very important and once you prepare the notes you have to revise it the notes i am telling it is not revision of volumes you should revise the notes on the second day when you revise the notes on the second day if you read one chapter in volume 7 you may have to revise that volume 7 first chapter on the second day what you will revise it is you will not revise the volume you will note down the notes you will prepare the notes at the time of reading itself in this 20% itself and that notes that you have prepared will be revised on the second day if you spare one hour for reading the volume 
of first chapter of volume seven in the at the time you read the volume, that one hour will be condensed to some fifteen minutes or ten minutes of revision in the second day. It will come down because the notes will be very less. Only important points you will be noting either in the flow charts or in the graphs or in or it will be in the form of tables or any maps, whichever mind maps, whichever tool that suits you. You may go for the written form of notes. Sometimes you may wish to have a word document as notes also. It is as per your wish, but. you have to revise that notes on the second day then again on the seventh day when you revise it may take 15 minutes on the second day but it comes down to 10 minutes on seventh day the same topic and uh, on the 15th day it comes to 5 minutes and once you revise in every month it will be less than 2 to 3 minutes definitely it will come down the minutes you revise will come down because you are reaffirming the notes time and again it will take less time this will be known to you when you do it practically in the initial time when i say you may feel discomfort but when you go through such type of revision it will be easy then comes the point how to prepare notes in the previous slide we have seen that notes is the important thing you have to prepare then how to prepare the notes first thing is that preparing notes is of course tedious because every important point you have to jot down in the notes at this time if you have a friend who is a serious aspirant combined study will definitely help because you will prepare notes on one topic he will prepare or she will prepare it on the other topic and you can compare the missing points and a comprehensive notes can be prepared by having a combined study mind you that only serious aspirants should have a combined study if the other aspirant is not serious enough your time will also will go waste i don't uh, suggest for combined study if the the other candidate is not serious enough so go for a uh, combined study and regarding combined study i want to tell you one more aspect if you are having a and b or two persons having combined study you may choose to have the same one topic for a day so you may be reading different topics but you will be choosing at least one topic for that day for the end of the day and you both will speak to one another either virtually or most probably virtually and you may call him and ask a difficult question on the subject you have taken you both have taken that way it will be challenging for the other person and he will go through the subject thoroughly so whenever you pose a difficult question to the other one he will be feeling that challenge and he will also be reading thoroughly and you ask him also to pose a difficult question that you will also feel that challenge and you will also prepare the notes very comprehensively then you you can exchange the views and your notes also this is all about the combined study and preparation of notes through combined study the next point is the revision as i have said earlier revision is key if you prepare notes and keep it aside there is no use you have to revise the notes and how long you will revise is till the exam is conducted every month you have to revise and if the topic is new then you have to revise on the second day seventh day and 15th day you will only revise the notes not the volumes once again i am telling and after a one month you will revise and again after one month you will every month you will revise until the exam is conducted this should be your revision strategy why because revision is very very important the one who gets selected and one who doesn't the difference is revision one who revises four times may not get some time get selected one who revises five times may get selected it is basically on the revision part uh, four or five what i have mentioned four times or five times is not exactly the same but i mean to say that one who revises more will be having the edge on the other persons because it is basically the amount of retention you have till the examination date matters a lot then while you preparing notes you should understand that numbers are important wherever there is number either it may be a date year or number of days or the periodicity or months or years these are all important this why these are numbers are important i will tell you later in the same video please wait and competent authorities are also important sometimes they may ask who is the competent authority for issue of license to the franking machine 
or license to register newspapers or without uh, prepayment uh, register rnp who will issue so this is all basically about the competent authorities and uh, about the numbers also in which year this csi has been rolled out entirely in the country these are the dates years also they are important when was ccs conduct rules introduced ccs cca rules introduced and uh, when was atms interoperability introduced these things they are these dates uh, they are asking years and dates also these are all important and sometimes you may be asked about the time limits for example rti how many days uh, you can uh, after which you can up, go for an appeal so these uh, periodicities basically you will find these many more in the ccs cca rules within which uh, the what is the time limit within which you can uh, go for an appeal on the issue of charge sheet or whatever it is so this or order of punishment or order of suspension so this periodicities uh, carry a super weight in the examination so you have to very well write down in the notes whenever you find a number the next one is when you prepare your notes don't make it over lengthy or don't try to write the entire sentence uh, in your notes then it will be like uh, preparing uh, a volume again in your notes this time it will be in the written format instead of print so don't do that mistake be precise make it very little that you you can only understand it would be good except your friend who is in the combined study and you should understand use symbols points flow diagrams tables for your better understanding for example in case of an rpli or pli you may prepare tables uh, to understand the points very well in one slide so that you can revise very well see this is one slide of course this may be too much of information in one slide i guess however when you are going through rpli pli these are all these i have given in this seven serial points uh, for all the different types of policies i have made it in one slide i like to remember in the table format instead of in the text format so when i revise this one in this entire table if you are not wondering or if you are not surprised there are more than 50 bits in this one single slide see like that what is the maximum value of uh, pli maximum value of rpli here the what is the uh, 12 months uh, penalty waiver is given for natural calamity in gram that is gram priya so so many questions you can get through this uh, single slide so you may have to prepare such notes like this one in the table sometimes you may find it better if you have a flow chart or uh, whenever there is a competent authorities uh, uh, then you may find it easy to have a flow chart and keep it ready as a notes and regarding the how to answer the mcqs in the examination there are a few tips i want to share with you as my max teacher always tells me there is no brainer one here the first tip is that answer easy questions you are writing 150 questions in the single paper for each question carrying two marks and the total marks is 300 as we have seen i suggest to, to bubble the omr after first 30 minutes that means in the during the first 30 minutes researchers said that your brain will not be tuned to the examination in the during the first 30 minutes because you are exposed outside system and you have all of a sudden entered the examination hall so what you can do is that you better stop bubbling in the first 30 minutes what you will do you will just answer or tick in the question paper and after 30 minutes you start bubbling the omr during this first 30 minutes you try to answer how many number of questions you can answer that are easy for you you answer them straight away in the question paper you tick it there and then after answering some uh, few questions some say some 50 or 40 questions in the first 30 minutes if you can answer then you come back and you check the question you read the question twice and then bubble the answer here i mean that you read the question twice i will tell you in the later uh, slide also why reading the question twice is important beware of double negatives like not in the question you will be asked which of the following is not which of the following is not correct sometimes which of the following is not true which of the following is incorrect like these questions you will find a many a plenty of questions will be given in the examination so you should be beware of these questions and 
for that you need to read the question twice sometimes the questions are also lengthy i can't deny that but uh, these tricky questions you should uh, overcome by reading the question twice sometimes you will be given per month per year you will be given the answers as only two and three only correct or sometimes never sometimes always these are all the double negative things you should be careful about whenever in the question if you find these phrases these words you should be careful and read the question twice and the next one is double check the answer sometimes before bubbling you have to check for the options sometimes you are given like all of these none of these so these two things you should take care uh, sometimes the answer will be triple answers sometimes one two and three options suppose a b and c are also correct and that will be given as all of these in the last one and none of these also is given many at times so you should read all the answers also even not only the question you should read the entire question you should read entire answer as entire answers also to find these all of these or none of these to cross check them and you all know that the elimination process is the mantra for uh, if you are bit not sure of the answers you eliminate the wrong answer first if you don't know the correct answer straight away find the alien option whenever you are given not correct or incorrect you will find some four answers out of these four answers three will be pointing to the correct one that means three will be similar fashion and the last one will be in the odd mode then it will be easy to eliminate that and sometimes you may have to rephrase the question the question will be over lengthy and you may have to rephrase the question to find the correct answer that will be the way out and at last after all your trials if you don't find the correct answer and if you are not sure of the correct answer there is no negative marks here fortunately then a wild guess definitely is the way to go forward guess an answer that then to not answer the question don't leave the question as an answer instead of that you go for some guess here we in the last slide you have seen that read the question twice why i have said like that is why to read the question twice see read this question now and you tell me what is the answer you post in the comment section what is your probable answer which of the following statements with reference to pmsby that is prime minister suraksha bima yojana is not true a the amount payable to the insurant on total and irrecoverable loss of sight of one eye or loss of use of one hand or foot is 1 lakh that means amount payable to the insurant in total and irrecoverable loss of sight of one eye or loss of use of one hand or foot is 1 lakh that is the amount of compensation claim payable second one is b is joint account holders can join the scheme of pmsby by paying separate premium for each of the account holders third one is premium is rupees 12 per month d is participating banks will be master policy holders in this scheme of pmsby these are the four choices given for you you have to find out which of the following is not true please post the answer in the comment section along with the reason why you have given the answer i will post the answer in the comment section and why i have asked you to read the question twice also i will post in the first comment i will leave that answer in the comment you try to answer the question in the comment there is a, i am laying emphasis on reading of the question twice again this is a general question not related to na inspector post but a general question here if 1 is equal to 5 2 is equal to 10 3 is equal to 15 4 is equal to 20 then 5 is equal to what the options are 25 1 1 and 25 none of these you please post in the comment section this answer to this question also i will give you this answer in the comment session later and i will tell you why now let us see what is the preparation strategy for an inspector post examination there is nothing much strategy for preparing the examination only the best strategy is to start now start immediately and focus on your weak areas say suppose if you are weak in english or drafting or noting etc you may have to focus uh, more on that aspects or you may have to devote separate time daily half an hour more than what it is expected then you can overcome that weak areas likewise 
and you have to build a proper study plan and a proper strategy and a timetable of your own i don't want to give you a, a fixed timetable for everyone that will not help you in any way you yourself will have to prepare a timetable uniquely for yourself because it will be based on the number of hours you can devote for the examination and number of undisturbed hours you can have spare for this preparation of the examination accordingly you can prepare your own timetable your own study plan for execution and i advise to stick to that plan very strictly for yourself you should be strict with you and you should execute that plan strictly the next one is regular practice is required even you have to go through the previous year question papers and mock tests and quizzes daily at least one mock test or quiz you, you have to attempt daily that will help you to have that uh, ability in you to appear for the examination that will help you in the examination to complete the examination in time frame time management this is very very important you should avoid all the distractions while you are preparing the examination needless to say all the social media and all you need to have short breaks uh, as per the researchers 42 to 1 hour after every 40 minutes or 1 hour you should give a short break of 5 or 10 minutes and again you have to start your your preparation that will help you because a two hours of continuous preparation may make you tedious sometimes a little bit short break either if you drink some water or some way or the other if you give some break that will help you in stay longer in the preparation and another point is that try different strategy and select the best that is suits to you that means for example if you are appearing for mock test you may try different patterns try different order of the attempt say for example if you are attempting some from the first question you may go from 50th question like that uh, you sometimes in the paper 4 you may start with the current affairs or sometimes you may try in the next mock test starting with the english paper so try different things and see whichever suits you and adopt the same strategy in the final examination so try different things in the mock test then comes the question how much time you have to devote for the preparation see in general i can't give you any time how much you have to devote for the preparation because it basically depends on you and i am not encouraging or discouraging you here i will give you some timelines for those who are preparing those who are having some seven years of service right now that means they have ample time of for preparation then if you have two years from now that means if you are having six years of service under your belt you are having two years from now then a two hours of preparation per day is well enough and you will be rocking in the examination if you prepare like that because you are staying in the preparation zone for two years that will be too good for you and if you have one and a half year preparation three years three hours per day will be sufficient and if you have one year preparation four hours per day will be ideal for you and if you have six months for preparation five hours per day will be enough for you of course early morning preparation will be suiting for many and there will be some some people those who will be burning their midnight oil also or there there will be that midnight owls i don't know whichever suits for you you may go through it this is only a tentative hours i am telling there may be intelligent people enough who will have less time also sufficient for their preparation i don't deny but this this is in general i am telling those who are normal people they can have this time this hours of preparation and the, some key inputs i i wish to put before you regarding the 2029 2019 question paper i have found some strange things that are useful for you that is numbers there are as many as 33% of the paper there are numbers in the question paper that is it may be periodicities it may be years it may be amounts it may be rates or percentages it may be time limits or it may be some section numbers or it may be some rule numbers or it may be some articles numbers in the constitution of india or whatever it is so i have found this in the paper 1 some 53 questions were given and in paper 2 70 questions were given on the numbers and in paper 3 some 83 questions were given this is at random 
more than 33 percent of questions uh, are being given on the numbers so while preparing your notes don't forget to include those numbers in your notes because it carries a lot of weight and you should never forget to incorporate these aspects in your notes and the next point is i have seen that uh, which of the following is incorrect and correct such a type of questions are 7 percent questions uh, they are asking more than 7 percent they are asking in the examination for ipo which of the following is incorrect and correct they will be giving two and three are correct two and four are correct and you may ask how will this help us you should be preparing your notes in such a fashion that your notes will cover these types of questions also so while preparing notes you should be reading the para in such a way that whether these type of questions can be asked in that from that para such type of uh, awareness or thinking thought process should be there while you are reading the volume and preparing the notes for that aspect i have mentioned this one and there is more than 2% of the questions are being asked from the competent authorities who is the competent authority for rnp who is the competent authority for uh, suspending an official in the group c cadder like that these competent authorities are very very important while preparing notes you should definitely have this aspect in mind let us see the ipo exam syllabus 2021 this is the new syllabus it has been released by directorate filed its letter number 7-14 oblique 2011 spn2 dated 6/4 2021 for the inspector post examination let us see the syllabus in detail let us surf to this website this is the syllabus part this is the latest syllabus and in this website you will have the access for each and every topic that is covered in the syllabus and the syllabus is acts first one is India Post Office Act 1898 the second one is Government Servant Promotion Act 1873 this is paper 1 see if you click here on the link it will direct you to the concerned topic and you will have the resource directly in hand so this way you will be having the resources in handy see this uh, India Post Office Act 1898 here you will come to know about the exclusive privilege of conveying letters reserved to the government and and so many other concerned topics uh, registration insurance value undelivered postal articles how shipment letters are done what is money orders and uh, and other penalties also there are so many penalties these penalties are important in this uh, ipo act and the uh, next one is government savings promotion act 1873 if you click the link here it will pass on through the nsiindia.gov.in this is the national savings institute website and you will have the the government savings bank act this is for only few pages you can cover and you can prepare notes on this also the next one is prevention of money laundering act 2002 and its amendment it redirects to the india post website that link you can go through the that word document what is money laundering what is financial terrorism what is aml cft and all these aspects were covered here and you can go through it and prepare the notes this is a part of the syllabus what is high risk low risk all these aspects are covered here then you come to the consumer protection act 2019 that is the topic and it is provided a drive and then meanwhile next one that is information technology act it goes to the nic website and you can see the pdf the information technology act 2000 what is the short title extent and these days uh, many questions are being asked in the preliminary chapters itself when this act was introduced and all these questions may come so go through this it is a 36 page document you can go through this and this is the gazette from the consumer protection act and what is consumer protection act what are its details and uh, these days so many questions are coming from the consumer protection act as well so you have to be thorough with this chapter also then you have seen information technology then comes the rules india post office rules and the government savings promotion rules that are very much available in the india post website this document is there you can go through this and prepare your government savings promotion general rules 2018 these are called gspr rules and india post office rules this is 1933 this is one some 146 pages is there you can go through it then comes the post office savings account act scheme 
this is the latest one in the earlier syllabus it was some 1873 like that that has been changed to 2019 this is the new change in the recent syllabus of april 2021 so go through this seven page document and prepare the notes then post office savings account scheme 2019 this is also about the accounts you may go through it and then comes the national savings recurring deposit scheme 2019 you can have all the good read about the this document this is the 12 december 2019 notification and you can go with it thoroughly this is the important document actually the notification that has been released on 12 12 19 on all categories of accounts sb rd td mis and certificates also that full document that gazette you need to go through thoroughly then the savings deposit it is the similar document then national savings monthly scheme so it is so as i told it is all the it is basically the 12 12 2019 19 order from gazette issued on all schemes the central government has made the changes in 12 12 2019 19, all these schemes have been renamed as a national savings time deposit scheme 2019 and so on you have to go through them similarly monthly income scheme is there this is also 12 12 2019 so that one also you have to go through and senior citizen savings scheme similarly national certificate scheme so you will be redirected to the proper site with the resource so that is the easiest way then kisan vikas patra and public provident fund so these are all redirecting you to the corresponding india post website this is uh, national savings certificate and this is even sukanya samriddhi yojana and postal life insurance so this is kisan vikas patra so this is how you can operate through this website and get all the resources with just by clicking the links instead of surfing them outside searching for the different aspects so this is quite easy for you and post office insurance fund it is a 78 page document 2011 so this also you can go through if insurance 2011 sukanya samriddhi yojana 2019 so this is sukanya samriddhi account 2019 scheme that you can go through and book of bio rules book of bio rules then pradhan mantri schemes pmsby jjby and all these things they are rightly available in the india post website itself you can access them see here uh, different schemes are there rules faqs and all these things are there you go through them one by one you have the pdfs also sops go through them and prepare your own notes and next one is post office guide part 1 that is rightly available in the india post website go through it and prepare your own notes you can access this one 172 pages is there you can go through it and the next one is post office guide part 2 that is also available in the india post website and domestic and foreign guidelines issued by directorate then this is the foreign post manual given in the pdf in india post website you can access and go through it and regarding mail operations it is volume postal one manual volume 5 except the appendix 1 and you can access the same in the india post website it will redirect you to that location and you can see the postal volume 5 dealing with the mails and all many aspects next one is this is the foreign postal manual and next one is the postal volume 6 part 1 and uh, postal volume 6 uh, part 2 and part 3 so all these uh, are available for you either in google drives or links or india post website the next one is uh, volume 7 that is also available in india post website you can access and have that pdf and you can go through it these are very much available the next one is guidelines issued by directorate on mail network optimization project and pnop the details are in the link and you can have access to the links so parcel network optimization project and and you can see the required material and here emos imos and mmts and ifsmo these details also you can click and get it then comes the savings bank uh, manual volume 1 2 and 3 and if you click that you will be redirected to india post and you will get the rta manual 5 this is the place in india post website where you can access all the postal manuals here straight away and see i have told some of you are asking how to access the hindi manuals there is a script called hindi you just click it it will convert you to the hindi version see now everything is in hindi 
and if you want to come back to english you just click on the english here again on the top right corner you will come to hindi whenever you go to the india post website you what you will do is just you will write india post website it will take you to the india post website just you will click and it is the home page you scroll down and you will see the right to information here in the last bottom left bottom left of the india post website you will find right to information act click on that it will take you to the many links are provided here in this page and it, it is the fifth one the fifth one is the this is important one rules regulations instructions manuals records used by our employees for discharging their functions this is very very important uh, link wherein you will find the manuals departmental manuals all these manuals are available here you can easily access for those who want to get it in hindi you just click here in the hindi and it will you click on okay now you will get the you will be redirected to hindi version and here scroll down and go to that right to information act and now you will see all these version in the hindi and it will take you to the corresponding thing now you will find every volume in hindi you can access all these volumes if you can download or print out whatever it is and you can read if you want to convert it back to english it's quite possible you can convert from here to here hindi english it is quite possible just a click away from you now you can access all the volumes here next one is the savings bank manual volume 1 2 3 these are available in this uh, rti uh, india post website and guidelines to directorate from time to time on core banking solutions that is also available in india post website cvs manual the, it is available in this uh, location rti or uh, right information act in the india post website manuals and post office life insurance rules pli rules guidelines from time to time on rpli and pli if you click on this you will be redirected to another website of the department of post only that is postallifeinsurance.gov.in this is an exclusive site for pli and rpli schemes you can here see the products pli rpli schemes edgas edgas bf benefits of edgas go through all of these one by one and prepare your notes this is an exclusive postal life insurance or rural postal life insurance site for department the next one is the annual report of department of post 2021 so latest annual report has been released and the link is given there and it it will drive us to the pdf say suppose if you want to search in the home page of google you will search it as annual 2021 see here administrative report in you may have to type i think uh, india post see it is in the it is not showing in the first one i think it is here it, it, it is available here in this second slot you just click it you will go there so this is the 2021 annual report it is consisting of 140 pages and this is an important document you wherein you will get uh, almost uh, some 10 to 15 questions uh, from the this annual report then after the annual report what else and book of information is the another document for india post that is available in the dop site and you can see there next one is uh, IT modernization project with full details. So this is about the IT modernization. There are full details are given here. There is a quiz session and abbreviations are there. What is that one? What is man who P N? So everything was given here. You can access it straight away. There is a one video also. The next one is uh, India Post Project 2012 and its updates. Actually, the earlier site is fairly good enough to. Uh, complete your uh, it modernization thing here there is extra ma training material from for pascs is given in the drive as a link you can go through it and working knowledge of core banking solutions that is the is part of the syllabus and you will see the document there uh, it is provided there have access to that the next one is the pli cis csi darpan and uh, csi comprehensive guide to single hand post offices so for pli cis some more information is given in the drive and a comprehensive guide to the single hand post offices released by few circles uh, and you can have access to them this is sankalan uh, department of post has issued this uh, sankalan recently it includes a 2011 pf post office insurance fund and everything comprehensive details on pli have been given and rpli has been given in this eligibility conditions uh, types of policies medical scheme surrender payment revival loan suicide cases and everything including the tables different tables have been given and different forms 
checklist uh, but not everything was given in the regarding pl and rpli you can go through it then india post payment bank we all know that india post payment bank is having a separate website you need to go thoroughly through the website and take more information you will have here see here there is services there is products there is doorstep banking payments lot of information is available in the in these uh, menus go through them one by one and have prepare your own notes preservation of uh, records regarding the preservation of record and disposal of re postal records there is one good pdf of one not eight pages from the from ghaziabad rafi ahmed kidwai national postal academy they call it as rakanpa this is where uh, training for group b officers is done in ghaziabad they have released this book on the preservation period of many aspects sb rms administration accounts and please go through it next one is uh, swachh bharat and uh, takes you to the wikipedia site of course there is a lot of data you may prepare some notes on this and in addition to this you may have to go through the topics in of relating to swachh bharat in the annual administrative reports also as earlier we have seen in that annual administrative reports also we find some good information about swachh bharat even on the india post website also you may find some information about swachh bharat you need to go through it also the next one is the national savings schemes uh, 2019 this is what i have been telling you to go through thoroughly this is the 12 12 gazette and the revised scheme rules relating to department of post it is available both in hindi and english this is the 12 12 this consists of 179 pages earlier you have seen uh, scheme wise this is a comprehensive one that means a single 179 page pdf it is earlier you have seen 11 pages 7 pages each one for each topic like td sbr this separately this is a total thing so you better go through this and prepare notes on this thoroughly this is where you will have information or you will be getting questions from sbr dtd mis you should be very thorough about this aspect the next one is the paper 2 now we have completed paper 1 now we will go through the paper 2 paper 2 basically consists of this gfr rules uh, chapter 2 and chapter 6 of general finance rules 2017 of course gfr 2017 it will go to the department of expenditure website and uh, you can access that cvc guidelines on public procurement in the eprocure.gov.in that resource is available it is having some 88 pages you may go through it some important aspects are given there is nothing too much about it but few points you can uh, you just go through once that will give you a fair idea then you have the manual on policies and procedures for purchase of goods and services available on the website it uh, redirects us to the finance ministry thing this is very very important uh, topic procurement and next one is the schedule of financial powers of the divisional heads and head of the circles this is available in india post website in the rti manual as i said earlier then welfare schemes both you have to uh, see the schedule of financial powers of the divisional heads head of the circles and rms etc it was given etc so you need to cover everything particular in particular you should be thorough with the divisional heads postal division and rms head of the circles also you need to see but you should be very thorough with the divisional heads and welfare measures available to the department employees of and gramin dog sevaks there is a 201 page pdf you can see the welfare schemes the different welfare schemes available and you need to also update yourself with the latest welfare schemes that are available in the annual administrative statement but full details will not be given they will give the uh, what is the scheme and all you may have to search for the for in the website to get the latest one however this will enable you to understand what are the schemes available then comes the right to information act 2005 this rti act gazette is there it is a 23 page gazette is there this also you should be very thorough with 81 what is the 81j what is uh, the basic definition of information what uh, information will consist of these are all the different rules how will it be rejected why it will be rejected uh, which cannot be rejected under what circumstances it can be rejected these are so many topics you need to cover there are certain timelines also for rti act so this 23 page is also important document the next one is rti rules 
apart from the rti act there are rti rules also dopt.gov.in provides for this rti rules and it is a four page document you can go through it generally it consists of some fees fee what is the fees for the rti some uh, Two rupees per page if it is to be taken for a photocopy. Such as few rules uh, will be available. You please uh, check it. And the next one it is FRSR rules, and it is redirecting to some of the business here topics. You can go through it. Apart from this FRSR, you will have the FRSRs you can have from the Swami Publishers, or you can go through the websites. Uh, in the DOPT websites or in the DOE websites, personal uh, assessments websites also it will be available. This is FRSR leave rules. If there is a post or MCQ, so it will redirect there. Then next comes the DA HRA FRSR Part Four. So basically, the FRSR there will be a one, two, three, and four. The one is general rules. T second is TA rules. Third is leave rules. So you need to go through the these uh, leave rules. TA rules, general rules. For every topic, there is a book from Swami Publishers. Apart from that, if you want a free resource, also you can search for the internet. Then comes the Financial Handbook Part One. This Financial Handbook Part One, it is available in India Post website. You can go through it. Then comes the Financial Handbook Volume Two. It is also available in India Post website here. See here, you you can have this uh, FHB Volume Two and Volume One here. And then next comes the CEA, Children Educational Assistance. And I think there is a post you can go through it. Apart from this, you can go through the rulings of CEA available in the net in the gconnect.in. Rulings regarding CEA in the seventh CPC have been given. You can go through these rulings. And next one is the group insurance, group insurance scheme in the Department of Expenditure side. The matter relating to group insurance has been given in eight pages. You can go through it. Regarding group insurance, it is also given in the Swami Publishers Handbook or uh, somewhere else you can find in the net also. And GPF regarding GPF rules, you can go through the government website here, personal ministry. GPF Central Service Rules 1960 definition and all these information has been provided in 64 pages of PDF. Go through it and. The next one is medical attendance rules. I think some post is there, and here also you can have the uh, from the MOHFW website also from the government website. You can see the access the central medical attendance rules. It is given some seven pages, but you will have a comprehensive document on this uh, uh, medical attendance rules separately if you if you go and purchase from the Swami handbook. The next comes the CGHS guidelines issued by Directorate and. That is also available in the site and in the net you can uh, search for it. Then the compilation of new pension scheme 2014. There is a handbook uh, available from the new pension scheme NPSCRA NSDL.co.in. This is a handbook on CRA operations, uh, some 80 pages book. You can go through it and you can also search in the net also for the NPS good resources. Then comes the CCS Pension Rules 1972 and uh, Personal Departments of Pensions and Public Grievances Pensions. Ministry of Department of Pensions and Pensions Welfare. This is uh, about the scheme CCS Pension 1972. Full details are available. And if you click, the internals also can be seen. These are all links. If you click it, it will go to the preparation of pension papers. Uh, that relevant chapter can be seen. And if you want to come back, you can come back. So this is how basically it works and commutation of pension also for 1981 that is also available in that uh, person. CCS commutation is some 38 pages is there you can go through it. Then comes the postal manual volume 2 except chapter 3 appeals and petitions straight away available in the India post website here part 2 PO guide part 2 and here this is postal manual volume 2. This is the one you can click it here to get the PDF downloaded. Then the next one is after pension rules, commutation rules, volume 2 is over. Volume except these chapters, so these chapters are not required. Then postal manual volume 4. This is an important uh, topic. I think this volume 4 from the department of course is not updated uh, properly. Better you go for the Swami publishers. This new book has been released. You can go for it. Then 
after volume 4 recruitment rules of all rrs that all cadres and establishment norms are required that also you have to check for in the india post website or employment corner then the service discharge benefit scheme of 2020 that is available in the drive then comes the paper 3 paper 3 this is again postal volume 2 you are having here postal volume 2 in the india post site and uh, they are covering what it is not there here see here in the paper 2 they told it is accept appeals and petitions personal matters and that means uh, chapter 3 4 and 5 and 7 are not there now they are giving these chapters again here that means it is not there in paper 2 they, but it is there in paper 3 that means you have to be thorough with the entire paper volume 2 only point is that it is a uh, split it is taken into split into different papers and next comes the volume 3 this is an important uh, volume actually it is having 194 pages ccscca 1965 is part of this volume 3 but in addition to ccscs 1965 volume 3 contains many other important rulings uh, that you may have to uh, read thoroughly and this will be the basis for your any investigation or fraud or whatever it is then this comes very handy the inquiry process and everything will be covered in the volume 3 all your doubts will be cleared in the volume 3 regarding 1965 CCCA rules anything you have doubt that will be covered in here the next one is volume 8 the volume 8 basically it is available in the India Post site and it deals with the powers of superintendents, powers of uh, heads of the circle, superintendents, inspector post, town post offices, overseers, uh, mail overseers, postmen, assistant superintendents. So it is basically about the powers and jurisdiction and uh, what are the roles and functions uh, of different cadres will be given here. Even stock depot uh, and uh, written RLOs, some information will be given, overseas, mail overseas and all. So you can find um, good information here. What are the? Uh, this is a good volume actually. And then comes the CCS Conduct Rules 1964. This is a post, I think. This is uh, CCS Conduct Rules 1964 and CCS CCA 1965. These two are important uh, readings you should have. See one some 21 pages it is there. And you can also get the book from the Swami Publishers also where it will be very comprehensive and it it will run up to some 200 pages odd but it's still important and many questions they come from this topic for the inspector post examination even from CCSCC also though this is a dry subject you need to go through this thoroughly especially the time limits are very very important in CCS conduct rules and CCSCC rules the periodicities time limits uh, there are n number of time limits and periodicities in these two topics you have to go through them thoroughly CCS temporary rules 1965 uh, an employee who has been temporarily appointed can be terminated using these rules before probation these rules are applicable they can also even be removed from terminated they call termination in temporary service rules if they do not complete the probation and if there is any misconduct they need not resort to any inquiry they can straight away use these temporary rules so they are important to read then comes the service rules for the gds gds conduct engagement rules 2011 and 20 this is 20 is more updated one you may have to go through the through that uh, gds conduct rules conduct and engagement rules 2020 and if there are few changes uh, here also you may have to check for those changes then comes the brochure on the casual labors and instructions on casual labors issued by DOPT. This topic is very much covered uh, in the DOPT website and you can also find some of the information available in the Swami's administration and establishment norms. There is a reference book in that you can also find. Here also there are so many other documents you can download. Either way it is okay. Then comes the constitution of India. Regarding this constitution of India there are quite many number of books but this legislative.gov.in also provides for some pdf of 281 pages it is quite good enough or you may go and purchase any book that is useful next comes the civil code of procedure 1908 and in that only short title extent and commencement is required and definitions are required whenever it is very specific that this much is only required you please restrict to that otherwise this becomes a huge syllabus if you go through every nook and corner when the syllabus is clear cut 
they have told that only title and definitions are enough the questions will come from this topics only alone similarly the code of criminal procedure 1908 and they are also they are restricting to short title extent and commencement and definitions you may restrict to that extent and the next one is section 82 crpc proclamation of person absconding some up to f it is given a b c d e f so section 84 85 these things is there enough and indian evidence act section 1 section 5 6 7 8 and chapter 3 4 and 5 you may go through that and regarding P indian penal code general explanation chapter 3 9 10 and chapter 19 these are enough the next one is the instructions issued by directorate and dopt on maintenance of apar annual performance appraisal report earlier they used to be called as confidential reports there are certain instructions available and you may go through it post is there and if you search in the net you can possibly get them the next one is uh, cat central administrative tribunal and uh, is available in legislature.gov.insight and some 18 page information is there and you can also find some uh, good books uh, available in the market you can also purchase that swami book also is available i think and revenue recovery act that is available in the net india code.nic and sexual harassment of women at workplace here this revenue recovery act it is in, given in the five pages and you can also see any other uh, document available in the net also and prevention of corruption act 1988 and prevention of corruption act 1988 read with its amendment that is also a quite prevention of corruption act some 11 pages is there you can go through it and this is sexual harassment of women at workplace it contains some 14 pages you may go through it so these are the topics uh, given for the paper 3 so now we have covered all the paper 1 paper 2 and paper 3 paper 4 it has been discussed uh, in the other area already now let us see what is the career progression of uh, an inspector post when he becomes uh, inspector from the cadre of postal assistant or sorting assistant when a pa with a level 4 with a basic pay of uh, 25500 initial basic pay becomes an inspector post that is group b non gusted in the level 7 with the initial basic pay of 44900 he will be having a chance to appear for ps group b examination which is an all india examination that is conducted among the inspector posts and asps in the country and what is the service condition is for appearing the ps group b examination is 5 years of service in inspector cadre you can appear for the ps group b examination so called sp examination an inspector can become superintendent of post offices on clearing the examination called ps group b it is at level 9 with initial basic pay of 53100 an inspector will be manning the sub divisions and each division will be having three or four or five sub divisions based on the size of the division a sub division will be headed by the inspector post or assistant superintendent of post offices and a division will be headed by the superintendent of post offices and each division may be having 3 or 4 or 5 sub divisions based on the size of the division and that superintendent of post offices will be also be called as divisional head and inspector will be called as sub divisional head because he will be the head of the sub division and superintendent of post offices will be called as divisional head why because he will be the head of the division he will be controlling the division the next level of promotion for a ps group b officer in the superintendent of post office cadre is ssp that is senior superintendent of post offices or a jts cadre that is junior time scale cadre in the level 10 with initial basic pay of 56100 the jts cadre is formed from basically two options one is through dr that is direct recruitment through civil service examination by conducted by the upsc and they are called ipos that is the indian postal services as you know that uh, civil services examination is conducted for selecting the officers in the ias ips ifs ipos and there are multiple services up to 27 services are there in the civil services and they should be within the age of 21 to 32 if they are belonging to the oc category if they are from obc it is 21 to 35 if they are from scst it is from 21 years to 37 there is another way to become ssp in the jts cadre that is from the ps group b to jts 
PS Group B officers with two years of service can be elevated to the cadre of SSP JTS subject to the condition there are that many number of vacancies available to accommodate the superintendents. Sometimes it may take more than two years also for the paucity of vacancies. SSP will be holding the charge of a division, a big division and SSRM will also be there. He will be holding the charge of the RMS division. IPOS will be starting their journey from SSP. The next level of promotion from SSP to JTS is SSP STS that is senior time scale in SSP cadre that is called SSP equivalent name. For that the condition is you have to put in 4 years of service in JTS cadre to become an STS officer that is level 11 with the initial basic pay of 67,700. As soon as the 4 years are completed they will be granted a STS. The next level of promotion is DPS that is Director of Postal Services with the cadre of JAG that is called Junior Administrative Grade. It is in the level 12 with the initial basic pay of 78,800 and the service condition is STS cadre, 5 years of service in STS cadre will help him to become DPS JAG dependency of number of vacancies available. So if there are vacancies you may get it after 5 years otherwise it may take more time. The next one is DPS NFSG in the level 13. Here an NFSG is non-functional selection grade in the cadre of director postal services. It is in the level 13 with initial basic pay of 1,23,100. Thus what are the service conditions to become a JAG NFSG is DPS JAG will become DPS NFSG if he completes 14 years of service as on 1st January to the following year of civil service examination. That means year of a civil service examination if he completes 14 years of service as on January 1st of the following year he will be conferred with the DPS NFSG if he is from a direct recruitment. That means if he is from the IPOS cadre. In case if from the departmental promotion that is from the PS group B cadre if 14 years of service as on 1st January from the following year of inclusion in the select list that is the select list of group A there will be a select list of group A within which the officers who are selected as JTS will be included and 14 years after their inclusion in the select list a DPS JAG will become uh, JAG and FSG will be conferred and the next level of promotion is postmaster general or PMG in the level 14 with the initial basic pay of 1,44,200 and this is also called as SEAG cadre that is senior administrative grade. To become a uh, senior administrative grade officer, the JAG NFSG to PMG cadre from DPS uh, to PMG cadre, the condition is 8 years combined service of JAG and JAG NFSG. 8 years combined service of JAG and JAG NFSG is required or total 17 years uh, in group A. That means from here as JTS to NFSG if the total service is 17 years in group A with at least 4 years in these two cadres that is JAG and JAG NFSG. That means in the total 17 years, 4 years should be from the DPS NFSG or DPS JAG. Then he will be elevated to the cadre of PMG. So an inspector can become DPS NFSG based on the length of service available for him to put in and if he has more service he can he can also become postmaster general. Now these are the salaries of the departmental employees in the department of post or India post. This is the levels 1, 2, 3, 4 up to 9 and the cadres are MTS is level 1, driver is 2, postman is 3, PA is 4. From here you can jump to 7 that is inspector post and the basic pay is 44,900 and then up to SP it is 53,100. So I will not go deep into it. You can have a screenshot and check. The, these are the basic pays, DA, HRA and these are the allowances. TPA, DA on TPA, total allowance, total salary. I would also like to remind you that the persons or the officers who are drawing now may be having more than this, way more than this because they will be earning increments every year. Now let us see the role of inspector post. Inspector post is having different roles to play in the department of post. Unlike the other inspectors selected through CGL like inspector income tax or inspector excise etc. This is unique cadre. Why? Because inspector post is the only cadre which is having the 
authority of appointing inspector post is the only appointing authority the inspector income tax or inspector excise or the other inspectors they don't have this appointing authority now let us see what is that appointing authority he is the appointing authority for a assistant branch postmaster abpm or a dock saver so the gds recruitment will be conducted by him and the verification of educational qualification and community certificates will be conducted by him and he will be maintaining the basic records of the assistant branch postmaster or dock saver with him and he conducts the recruitment nowadays gds online is there for recruiting the gds bpms or abpms or dock saver you know that and we may have to think of the overall uh, entity of a inspector post is also considered as the subdivisional head that means he mans the subdivision which is having some 10 to 15 or 20 sub post offices and some 70 to 80s or 90 even 100 branch post offices under his control and uh, a mail overseer will be placed under his control to have a supervision of the branch post offices and mail overseer will be under the control of the inspector post and he will oversee the branch post offices and visits the branch post offices also and the next authority is the disciplinary authority inspector post also plays the disciplinary authority role he is the disciplinary authority for assistant branch postmaster dock saver mts and postman under his control he acts as enquiry authority in the iopo cases that is the enquiry officer or presenting officer cases in the fraud case a rule 14 or rule 16 in some, to some extent where the enquiry is conducted and conducts the 100% verification of branch post offices or sub post offices and password verifications in the fraud cases so this is basically the disciplinary authority role then comes the main role that is the inspecting authority as the name suggests inspector post will have to conduct inspections of branch post offices sub post offices and even he may have to assist the superintendent of post offices that is the divisional head to conduct inspections of head post offices he will be assisting in the head post carrying out the annual inspections of head post offices so an inspector post has to carry out the annual inspections of branch post offices and sub post offices under his jurisdiction and occasionally he may have to pay surprise visits to the branch post offices and sub post offices or even head post offices if he is uh, directed by the divisional head to oversee the operational functioning of these post offices apart from inspections also then the inspector post also functions the role of a controlling authority he is the overall controlling authority of the subdivision he acts as a manager in operation planning development of subdivision he is responsible for implementing the technology in branch post offices and sub post offices under his jurisdiction and he is the verifying authority for a different aspects and whenever he verifies that document becomes authenticated and he also plays as a reporting authority and his reports are very crucial for the divisional head to manage the division based on his reports only divisional head will take a decision in many aspects next one is the leave sanctioning authority inspector post acts as leave sanctioning authority for a branch postmaster assistant branch postmaster mts and postman under his jurisdiction he will be granting 60 days of lwa to bpm he can grant lwa up to 60 days for a bpm he can grant lwa to the abpm or dock saver up to 90 days and he can grant 20 days of paid leave to the gds as well apart from these functionaries there are other many other functionaries that an inspector post has to carry out and it will be a and you will feel equally satisfied and equally challenged and you will look forward towards your days every day will be a new day and every day will be a challenging day and a new responsibility will be given to you and there are many officials under your control and you have so many people to manage and you have so many post offices to administer that makes the job very challenging very interesting and dynamic because you are not just looking at the specified specialized job but you are looking after everything of the post office and you are dealing with the hr you are dealing with the operations you are dealing with the many other aspects of the post office and its personnel as far as the officials under placed under your control are concerned you are helping them to become the better versions of themselves this is all about the inspector post please hit the subscribe button and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you can be notified about my new videos when we post them on the channel